guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Leah Renee and this is Draft to Fat Lifestyle where we transform our lives from drag to fat. Today is going to be a brand new video, okay? I know I've been in my A, but I've been personally manifesting, trying to tap into this energy, but also with everything going on, um, it's imperative that I um, be mindful of the information that I'm giving to you guys because right now is the very, very big time for you to make sure that you are not low vibrational, okay? Low vibrational means low immune system, which means that all the foolishness in the world can literally be attracted to you, okay? But this video here is going to be a fun little video, okay? I know there are plenty of people out there because I've gotten the messages, okay, that are attempting to manifest a text or a call using the law of attraction. Now, this could be for your loved one. This could be for somebody you haven't talked to in weeks, months, um, maybe even um, years, you know. Um, it just really all depends on how much energy you exert, um, how much you believe, and we'll get into all all the specifics here in a minute but for all of those who are new to this channel welcome to drag the fast lifestyle i'm leah renee make sure you are liking and subscribe to this channel make sure that you share as well check out all my other videos on the law of attraction and vegan lifestyle and all of that jazz make sure you check your girl out okay also i have a roommate's challenge uh channel as well excuse me make sure you follow that channel as well so we got a lot of stuff going on um, for this second half of the year in terms of business. Yes, I am wearing Opulent Raw Hair Extensions. Um, that is my personal um, brand. It is Raw Indian Hair, okay? So you can check out our website um, for all your purchases, waist trainers, swimwear, all of those goods on the website, okay? So without further ado, catch this intro and I'll be back. Especially using the law of attraction because I'm the queen of, I'm the queen of manifestation, honey. Okay. <laughs> so let's just imagine that you're waiting on a job um, to call you or you're waiting on someone who you were really into, but the communication kind of fell off or you're in something fresh and new and you don't want to be like a bugaboo, but you want to talk to them. <laughs> so this is to help you manifest a text or a call. Now, this is not to attract things that are not meant for you. So if they are not um, a part of your vibration, don't be mad if it don't work for you, okay? Sometimes depending on how much energy you exert, it um, can happen like you can get the call within an hour or a couple days. It really all depends on the relationship with that individual um, and the relationship with the particular um, call that you're trying to manifest. So it depends on all of those things. I'm going to kind of break it down. Um, now, I used to have issues with kind of like calling things in before I really started working into the law of attraction. So I'm, I used to, you know, look up these type of videos just like you are. So with that being said, I kind of took together and pieced together some things that I know worked for me, um, that is working for other people. Um, and yeah, it is literally all about intention with the law of attraction. This stuff is pretty much all the same concept. Okay. Um, but for all those who are new to the law of attraction, this video is specifically for you so that you can get into, um, the practice of visualizing and scripting. Okay, which check out those videos. Okay, <laughs> so first things first, you need to go into a sense of calm. Um, you need to go into a sense of peace 
and you need to basically do some breathing exercises. Now, while you're doing breathing exercises, you could play um, some binaural beats if you like. Um, you could also uh, play some meditation music. Me, I can literally just silence the room and just go to a place um, because I've been working with this stuff um, and working with the universe for a while now. And so it's kind of easy for me to center myself and um, make sure that my pineal gland is the one who, my higher self, if you didn't know, um, is the one who's in charge so that my ego could be subsided so that we can manifest what we want, okay? So um, at the breathing exercises, you're going to think of the person, um, the name, you're going to think of why you want this person to contact you. It's, if it's a business opportunity, you can think about what it would make you feel like um, when you got the call, that you got the job. Um, and why do you want to have this relationship in your life? Why do you miss this person? What happened? You need to think about um, whether it really uh, truly serves your higher self first before you get into any of this. And if it's something new and fresh and you feel attracted to this individual and um, you feel like you should work on it, go ahead and manifest it. <laughs> so um, after you visualize, basically you're gonna be visualizing how the person makes you feel. Um, just basically you're going to visualize yourself getting the phone call or the text, okay? Now, after you do that, you're gonna take your phone, okay? And you're gonna write their name up and down and horizontally, okay? Now, this is just basically a visualization um, with your fingers, obviously, um, not actually right on your phone. Um, this is basically a, a visualization technique so that you could imagine yourself really seeing this person's name coming across your phone, okay? Um, and if you don't know what this person looks like, like you know it's a job or something like that, you don't know what they look like, just think of a person, a human, okay? And the features are not very important because you know we all energy, we all connected, okay? We're all one. So just think about uh, another energy force that you are seeking to contact you, okay? Um, now, again, you're going to picture it. Um, picture the, um, the person. So you're going to look at your phone after you wrote all the, um, when, after you wrote their names on it, right? So then you're going to picture like an energy source or a white light um, surrounding your phone. This basically charges your intention, okay? So we've already thought about them in person. We've already written their name um, imaginary um, on the phone and now we're going to send energy there okay and where energy flows you know something bound to come up out that thing okay so um, make sure that um, you envision your phone to have a white light around it uh, basically like I said you're sending all your energy there now after you do that you're going to put your phone down okay try not to look at it for as long as possible and then you're just going to get extremely ecstatic it might feel weird like this i feel cuckoo but the moment you do that is the moment that i that, that ain't gonna work okay so you need to really get excited okay like be in a place of contentment and happiness and joy okay when you show that the uh, show the universe that you're happy that you have vibrational they are bound or your ancestors are bound to give you what you need your spirit guides are bound to give you what you need creator is bound to give you what you need and what you desire okay so that is basically it like see how simple that is all you have to do with the law of attraction, really, people, is believe, okay? A thought conceived can be manifested, okay? Because that means that it's in your vibration, okay? It's in your vibration. It belongs to you. So, if it does not work for you, then that means that that person or that entity, what have you, was not aligned to your higher self any longer, and you got to let it go. Okay, so 
as always, I'm so happy I could come back here with y'all today. I'm going to get better. Uh, I promise you, now that the gyms are open, maybe I'll do like a vlog um, of the gym tomorrow. That might be fun. Uh, but I'll be coming back on here as always. Um, if you're not following my Instagram, that is going to be in the description box below, along with my website and all of those things. Um, so, yes. Bye. Love you. Thank <laughs> you.